Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to film a back to school makeup today and it's going to be a talk through video because I feel like I haven't done one of these in a very, very long time. Um, so I'm just going to get straight onto it. Oh, by the way, all the products I'm going to be using are drugstore, so they are very affordable um, for my school friends out there. So I'm going to use Gosh uh, Primer, so it just looks like this. Next I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Flawless Nude Foundation and this is in the colour Sun Beige 48. It just looks like this. I'm not complaining um, about the Real Techniques sponge because I absolutely love it. I love the way it applies my foundation, the way it blends my concealer, everything. But I just want to see what the hype is all about. I know there is a massive hype and I'm sure um, the beauty blender lives up to the expectation of the hype, but I want to test it for myself. <laughs> so you don't really want to cake this one, I'm just going to keep it really natural. When I was in school I never used to wear foundation, I wasn't allowed. My school did allow it but my mum did not allow me to wear it. All I used to wear was mascara and um, black eyeliner in my waterline and then when I got to I think maybe yeah, 10, 11, I started wearing eyeliner, liquid eyeliner on my, lip, on my eyelids but not every day. Well, I think maybe I started on wearing it every day because it's just so exciting. Um, and I used to have the really nice, you know, thick eyeliner with the wing, the whole shebang. And then when I got into college, it was a bit more, you know, you're allowed, you're an adult now. <laughs> so that was nice. I'm actually going to be travelling, be going to a few different countries. Um, please let me know by either thumbsing, thumbsing up this or liking, thumbsing, what the hell does that mean? Um, liking this video um, or commenting down below if you would like me to vlog my trip. Use the uh, instant, instant anti-age eraser eye from Maybelline and this is in the shade light. This is a new product I'm actually trying out. It's called MYM uh, Impress Me Vienna Mineral Setting Powder and it's a yellow tone, yellowish golden tone and it comes like this and it, when you open the top it has like a little buffer thing um, which you dip in here or you can just tip it out like this. But I've actually taken some of the product out and put it on a flat surface um, I'm just going to use a foundation or a concealer brush and just pack that on underneath my eyes. I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Drummer Sculpting Brow Mascara in medium brown easy to apply and it, it, it coats all your lashes um why do i keep saying lashes because all your um eyebrow hairs so it kind of gives it a bit of a tint for fuller eyebrows next i'm going to use my makeup forever um eyeshadow in the shade pearl i haven't used this in a very very long time going to use my two favourite mascaras, um, the L'Oreal Lair Lair um, Telescopic Mascara in the Gold, the False Lash Architect Four Dimensions Effect Fibres in the Silver one. So I like to use both of these together to make my eyelashes look move on 
on to um, a bit of bronzer. You can skip this skip. Skip. <laughs> you can skip. Oh my god, I can't speak. You can skip this step if you want to, but I just want to bring back a bit of colour to my face. So I'm just going to go in with this um, Makeup Revolution Ultra Con uh, Ultra Contour Palette and use this brown shade on the well, this brown shade here. I'm going to use this um, Bourjois Paris Aqua Blush, um, or Aqua 12 Hour Blush, and it's in the shade, what is the shade? Very nice. So it's just a, it just comes in a pump and it's like a creamy mousse blusher. And what I like to do is usually use a stippling, stippling brush, but I'm not going to use it, I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm just kind of like dot this onto my cheeks, like so, both sides, don't worry it looks like there's a lot of product at the moment, we're going to blend all of this out. get my L'Oreal Le Mi Magique um, primer to actually use this as a highlight so just put a tiny bit on the back of my hand again this comes in the pump so it's really good um, get my fingers and just dab this on to the highest point of my cheekbones Now I'm just going to finish off with some lip products and I'm going to use the Matte Me Lip Cream. I'm just going to apply my Burt's Bees um, Lip Balm, it's the Honey Lip Balm, just because the liquid lipstick is a bit drying, however it stays on all day, so that's good. I never used to wear lipstick to school on my day, my mum would kill me, only lip gloss. I know even like proper dark coloured lip gloss, but neutral, light pinks, mm. clear, <laughs> lip balms and that was it. So that's my makeup done, um, I'm just going to blow dry my hair and just straighten this. I'm not going to talk through that because it's quite simple. I'm sure everyone knows how to blow dry their hair and straighten it. But if you do want me to do a separate video on that, then please let me know. It's nothing special. Um, I can't blow dry my hair straight. I am one of those people that just can't get the techniques correct. Um, so I'm just going to roughly blow dry my hair and straighten it. I'm just going to do a fast forward for this one and I will see you in a little while. So that is my completed back to school makeup look and hair. Um, you can of course change up however you want to. This is just how I think I would do it if I was to go back to school now. 
Um, it's quite neutral, just the eyes, um, mascara, um, nice nudie lips, of course. Um, beautiful blush and bronze, not something that's standing out in your face. And just nice straight hair. Um, I always used to wear my hair straight when I was in school. So that is it. Um, I hope everyone has a lovely week and I hope all the kids that are going back to school, or college, university, whatever, um, have a really good start to the year and happy studying. I'll see you guys in my next video.